Hey folks, Eric here at Avid, and I'm gonna show you how to resume a job that you've stopped. So let's say you're cutting something like I am here and you need to stop a job. Well, uh, you can press feed hold and the machine will pause and the spindle will still run. And to start the job again, you simply press cycle start and the machine will continue running. If you press tool check, uh, the spindle will stop uh, and rise up. You can jog the machine out of the way if you need to you know, check a workpiece or check a hold down. And then when you're ready to start again, you can press cycle start. The job will get reprocessed. And in a moment, you'll get an option to press cycle start to resume the job. You press cycle start, we'll restart the spindle for you. The machine will move back over into the work and then drop in and your job will continue to run. Um, now, there are some other interruptions that require a little bit more work to resume. So let's say you hit escape or um, emergency stop or something like that. So you're back at the main screen and you need to restart this job. So uh, if the controller is still powered up, it's actually reasonably easy to restart a job. So to restart the job, what you would do is go into Run Job Options, and you can go to Search. And when you do a controlled stop like I did, where I just hit Escape or Cycle Stop, it the, will remember what line that your job stopped on and put it in the search box here. So this stopped on line 31,654. That is populated there. So if I just hit Cycle Start, the machine is automatically going to restart on that line. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll hit cycle start. And what is actually going to happen here, it's going to go back through the G code and make sure it does everything that it needs to do. So it's going to make sure that the spindle is turned on, that you've changed to the right tool, that the machine is actually in the correct location to start. So if it needs to move an XY to get to where it needs to start, it will go ahead and do that. Um, so unlike with mock, you don't need to remember here to do those things, like to move the machine back or turn on your spindle. And here we are, the job is restarting. So now let's say something uh, worse happens. You lose power or your laptop dies or you pull the ethernet cable out. Well, you still can resume a job in that situation. So what I'm gonna do here is actually cut the power to this controller and obviously the job will stop. You'll get a bunch of warnings in CNC 12. And what I'm gonna do is I'll repower this controller, rehome the machine, and then come back and I'll show you how to resume a job from a state like this. Okay, so now the controller is back on. I've got the machine rehomed. I've reloaded that G code file that uh, we had loaded when we had the crash. And we're gonna go ahead and resume it. So what you can do is go to run job options and go to search again. And in many cases, the line that you stopped on will still be populated in here, even in the case of a power outage. But let's say that you're not entirely sure, or maybe you don't want to start on the line that uh, the job failed on, but you want to start on a few lines earlier. Well, there are a couple ways that you can restart the job. So you can search for a tool change. So let's say you want to run all of tool number three's tool path again and continue on. You could just search for T3 in this box and it will find the line for that tool change and start from there. Or you can key in the line number that you want to start with. You might be thinking, well, that sounds great, but how the heck do I determine what line number it is? Well, I'm about to show you. So there is a free G-code and general text editing utility that we highly recommend everybody install, and it's called Notepad++. And it's free if you Google it and download it and install it on Windows at no charge. Once you have it downloaded, you can go into your Avid Profile Manager, and if you select PC Tuner, it will detect if you have Notepad++ installed, and it will add in a free 3D G-code viewer, which is gonna make this process much, much easier. I have these all installed, so now when I hit edit G code here in the bottom, it's gonna bring my G code up in Notepad++, and if it doesn't activate automatically, there is a icon up here, way at the top, it's sort of some red and black squiggly lines, and if you select that, it will activate the 3D G code viewer. And so what this is gonna let us do is visually figure out where our job stopped. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can scroll up and down here and click on different lines of G-code and it will light up the corresponding uh, 3D graphic. Or 
you know, let's say you know visually where a particular line is, you can actually click on it and it will bring you to that section of code here. And ultimately what you want to find is the line that it stopped on. So let's say we've clicked in this section here and we go through and you can see the little dot. Let's say we want to start on line 4,157. Well, that's really easy. We can just minimize Notepad++. We can go to Run Job Options and go to Search and then go to line 4,157 and hit Accept. And it's going to rebuild all the G code in the previewer for us. And once it's done doing that, it's going to say waiting for cycle start. So we'll go ahead and hit cycle start. And our job will resume. And it's going to check to make sure you have the right tool in. It's going to remind you to start the spindle. And it's going to move the machine back into the work automatically, even if the machine has been moved away, and safely drop in and continue the work. So those are several ways that you can recover from a job that was interrupted either on purpose or by accident.